Mr. Cole on Valerie's Vaughn with ADP. Hi. Hey, it's Hi. great to meet you. Nice to meet you. Did you have an appointment set up? Yes, we did today. Do you have 20 minutes available? Uh, I guess. Was it with me? Or do you set it up Are with me? Are you Jerry or? Cole? I am Jerry. But yes. did I talk to you? I spoke with Aaron over the phone. Oh, ah, like, Aaron. Okay. Yes, I did. She obviously didn't tell me, so okay. it's fantastic. Okay. Well, before we get started, I would like to offer you my business card for future reference. <sighs> okay. And I really appreciate you spending this time with me today. Do you happen to have a business card for me in return? Uh, no. Okay. No, I don't. Okay. That's completely fine. And, um... Now, like I said, I spoke with Erin, and she's had great things to say about fairy pet, uh, fairy pet parents. Mm -hmm. And I actually, a couple weeks ago, adopted a dog named Charlie. It's a mixed breed, and I actually have him here on my home screen. So cute. So I, I do share your passion for animals. And when I was looking for a, a place to board Charlie while I'm going on a trip, I came across fairy pet parents. Mm -hmm. And I really love how you have that high quality and just the passion for the pets, and you really strive to make their dreams come true. Now, could you explain how you do that? What, how do you make their dreams um, come true? You know, I really, this is, you know, I guess go, you keep using the word dreams, which uh -huh. I know is on the website and everything. It's more, you know, my wife, Jerry with an eye. Okay, yeah, Jerry you know, with she, an eye. Uh, she loves animals. She kept adopting, uh, you know, the dogs and cats, basically, you know, anything with fur. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I, I was, you know, looking... To, for a way to get out of the, you know, po my job at the postal service, okay. and, uh, you know, really kind of sunk all my, well, a lot of my uh, retirement uh, savings into this business. Okay. Um, you know, took out a small home loan, a uh, small business loan, to mm -hmm. uh, put all the money that I had inherited from my uncle passing away into it, and uh, so it's not, um, you know, I wouldn't call this a dream of mine right now. So. <laughs> Not of yours right now. Does your wife enjoy the pets? I don't know. You know, we're, uh, realistically, I'm not. Uh, we're not really getting along because this business is uh, very stressful. There's a ton of stuff going on. Oh, I, I am sorry to hear that, and I can completely understand. And um, really, when I saw your website and saw what you do for the pets and how you really do act like almost a, a fairy godmother for them, mm -hmm. it reminds me of my role at ADP. Now, I'm no fairy godmother, and it seems like you don't really agree with the fairy godmother as much either, but uh, in my opinion, my customers know me as the value driver. Um, mm -hmm. Miss value driver is actually what they call me oftentimes, and they think that because at ADP, we pride ourselves in our ability to provide customers with a payroll solution that enables them to utilize payroll processing as a value driver for their business. Now, do you think payroll processing should be a value driver for your business? Uh, I don't. I, I guess so. I mean, I'm, yeah. realistically, I'm not in the, you know, I know you had set this uh, appointment up with Aaron. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, I really didn't know anything about it. Okay. Um, and to be quite honest, there's really no budget right now to okay. buy anything. Okay. As I told you, you know, we're really not making a profit right now. Okay. Um, so I just wanted to be upfront and honest with you there. I really appreciate that, Mr. Cole. And uh, honestly, I can understand and I would love to go over Something like that when I do a value discussion later on in this meeting. Is that okay with you? Sure. Okay. So at ADP, we've thought about making um, payroll processing a value driver for your business. Mm -hmm. And as a result of implementing our systems, our customers consistently report increased cash flows, reduced operating expenses, and greater peace of mind. And that's really what I want to achieve for you today. Is that something you'd like to learn more about? Sure. Okay. So moving on, when I was thinking about our meeting today, I thought we could at least accomplish, accomplish four things. Now the fourth item I might not have time for, but moving forward, first of all, I would like to um, confirm some of the research I've done about fairy pet parents, and I'd like to expand on that research as well. And in order to do that, I'll need to ask you a few questions. Is yeah. that okay? Yep. Yeah. And then I'd like to examine your current payroll process and see what is and isn't working for you. And then after that, I'd like to show you a hands-on demo of our product, ADP Run Mobile. And then assuming we'd have time, I'd like to go over a brief value discussion with you. Just, okay. How does that sound? That sounds good. Is there anything you'd like to add? No. Okay. Now, when it comes to evaluating a payroll processing service, I know you said you and your wife are really involved in this business. Who would be involved in evaluating that decision? It's me. Just you? Yeah. Okay. So assuming we find a good fit today, would you be able to make a, a purchasing decision today? Yes. Okay. And then let's say if you could think of your perfect payroll processing system, if you could just imagine that, what two key performance indicators would you use to evaluate your satisfaction with that system? 
um performance indicators it's got to somehow help me cut expenses finally turn a profit in this business where we just keep losing money month after month help with you know filing the taxes okay you know help really overall improve you know our margins cash flow things like that I can completely understand that so I would summarize that as affordability and compliance is that would you agree with that sure okay now with your current situation I've done some research and I see that you have the one location is that correct yes and then you have at least three employees are there any more employees we have ten total ten total employees and are you looking to expand it all with this business oh god no I'd like to shut down today if I could but okay okay now with your current payroll process could you assume tomorrow's payroll day could you tell me who's involved what system you're using and just how frequently it's done um it's done weekly we pay weekly okay I'm the only person involved okay I kind of you know when I see my staff come in the front door mm-hmm I look at my watch I say okay you know Valerie came in at 758 log it into the manual Excel spreadsheet I see Valerie left or she's having lunch at 1158 put that in there and I'll do that for all ten employees and at the end of the week I'll kind of take a look at the hours on the spreadsheet and multiply that by their hourly rate okay and then you know hand write out each check and and give it to my employees okay and about how long does that process take you about four hours a week four hours a week Wow that is very time-intensive and so you're spending I guess you'd say then about 16 hours a month on payroll yeah Wow and then with your current Excel spreadsheet that you're using if you could rate your satisfaction in terms of affordability and compliance on a scale of 0 to 10 what rating would you give that I don't know affordability it's 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 definitely affordable it doesn't cost me necessarily anything rate it you know I don't know if it's a if it's a part of the process itself or just a business but I've maxed out on two of the three credit cards that we have I use the credit cards a lot of times to actually cover the payroll and to pay my employees so I guess if I can give a negative number I'd say that's what I would give it Wow so there's definitely room for improvement yeah I guess so over the past 12 to 24 months can you think of a time where your system has underperformed at all um yeah all the time all the time could you give me an example maybe well yeah I mean you know a couple times maybe I missed some I'm not always at the front you know sometimes I'm in the back I don't look outside I see an employee's not there he was there before I don't know that he took lunch I have to kind of rely on other people to tell me when they left okay to keep my eye on them all the time so wow so that's very stressful for you sure yeah and then if you could spend that time the 16 hours a month actually 192 hours a year doing something else besides payroll what would you be doing I'm sure I'd be clipping the nails on another dog or cat or something like that just working in the business yeah yeah and then if you could be working a little bit more doing other things that you'd rather be doing than payroll can you think of how that would impact your business financially well nothing could be worse than what's going on now so I'm sure any other thing I'm doing other than payroll definitely help would help yeah yeah I can completely agree with that many of my customers have said the same thing and then I know you're saying that this is a very stressful solution for you right now have there been any other emotional side effects it seems like you're very frustrated with your system what about the impact on employee morale you know we don't keep them more than six months so I don't know how their employee morale is my morale is not very high so yeah the last thing I care about is theirs so turnover is huge so the cost to rehire and train new employees I know you're doing background checks extensive background checks what is that costing you right there there's no background checks oh you know we're looking for warm bodies who show up on time 
no, no mind getting bit once in a while. Oh my goodness. So in my experience, just the cost of turnover has been about $2,500 per employee. Mm. Was that what you've seen with your employees at about 2500 Sure. I mean, I would have to have time to run those numbers, but yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll go with the industry numbers. Yeah. So you, and then in the past six months, about how many employees have you lost? Um, a few. A few. A few, yeah. Okay. Okay. Now I'd like to take a moment just to make sure I have a clear understanding of what I've learned so far and have an idea of what you want and why. Mm -hmm. So right now you're currently using a very stressful system for payrolls an Excel sheet that you would give a negative number on a 0 to 10 scale. Mm. And what you want is a system that meets your needs in terms of affordability and compliance. And that really would just free up some of the stress on your shoulders and then also just allow you to keep employees longer and not have to worry about these turnover issues. Is, is that a fair summary? Sure. Okay. If I could show you how ADP could give you a product that can meet your needs in terms of affordability and compliance, would you be willing to consider a payroll processing upgrade? Uh, yeah, I, I mean, before we get into anything, I, I definitely need to know what the cost is. Definitely. So you're concerned about the fee schedule? Uh, if that's what we're calling it, sure. <laughs> okay, well, that's something I go over in the value discussion. So after our hands-on demo, I'll be, <laughs> I'd love to go over that with you. Is that okay? No, I'd really need to see pricing You before. really see the, need yeah. to see it now? Yeah. Okay. I can actually do that right now. I do have the... Um, you have a pen of, while we go over the price? I have an extra pen. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. So I'll just show you the, the rate. This is an estimate right now because I do need a bit more information just to make sure. Okay. But with your current employees of 10 and you're doing payroll, I think you said uh, weekly? Yes. It's going to be $1,500. Oh, uh, how 15, old? No, that's $1,500 a year. It's a, a rate of $2,895 okay. every time you perform payroll. However, if you're considering cutting costs, I would um, consider maybe switching to a different frequency of payroll. If Just not pay them? <laughs> well, oh. no, not that at all. But if you switch to a monthly, you could definitely see some savings there. Okay. But that's something I would like to go over later. Now I'd like to show you our product, ADP Run Mobile. Do you mind if I scoot a bit closer to you? Sure. Okay. Thanks. Now, have you had any prior experience with ADP? Um, no. Okay. Well, what ADP is, is ADP is one of the largest providers of business processing and cloud-based solutions in the world, and over 400,000 small, successful business owners just like yourself rely on ADP services, and one in six U.S. workers are paid by ADP. So what that really means for you is that the stress that you're feeling, hmm. we take that stress off of you. We okay. handle that. And so our product today that I'm going to show you is ADP Run Mobile, and I'm going to show you our payroll. So this is the payroll home screen. Okay. Now, um, if you don't mind, would you go ahead and hit resume weekly? Uh, that's okay. You could. Okay. <laughs> I'd like for you to see how it works. So if you want to get involved at any moment, just jump right in. Sure. Okay. So resume weekly. Now right here, what this screen is going to do for you is allow you to see exactly when you're paying your employees. So mm -hmm. also, I know you mentioned you use paper checks right now. Have you used direct deposit at all? Um, not right now, no. Okay. Do you see how easy? Do you mind swiping that right there? You can turn it on and off, direct uh, deposit. So, And that comes with our ADP Run Mobile solution. Okay. So if you would like to do that, that would free some time and stress off of you. Okay. Okay. So now I'm going to hit resume. And this screen right here is going to show you your list of employees. So if you'll scroll through here, you'll see that. I'm going to click on Matthew Baxter and let you see what it looks like when you're looking at one employee. So when you're looking at this employee, you can see their hourly rate or if they're paid by salary, you can see that as well. So do you see how it's very easy to use? Yes. Okay. Now if you don't mind hitting preview for me. And then calculate. And then this screen right here shows you exactly how much you're spending on your employees for payroll. So it shows you the total cash required, so that's all known to you, and you don't have to worry about overpaying or anything like that. You can double check. And then if you'll hit approve. And then approve payroll. One other nice thing is it has a last safety check just to make sure you know the amount you're paying. Then you'll hit OK. And congratulations, it's that easy. You just completed your first ADP Run Mobile payroll. How did that feel? It was good, but how do we know that? How does the time get in there? For the time? Right. So are you concerned about entering in the hours for the employees? 
Uh, yeah, I, okay. I don't even know how that gets in. Would I enter okay. it? Do they enter it? What happens? There are uh, two options for that. So if you would like to enter it in yourself, you can do that. Also, if you would like to look at a time and labor management system, we have a system called Easy Labor Manager. And I have a little information on that too, if you would like to learn more. Is that something you'd be interested in? Sure. How much extra is that? That is a little bit extra. It's on the price sheet. I'll go back to it after I talk about the details. But Easy Labor Manager is our time and labor management solution. Um, it's very easy to use. It is integrated with our payroll, so you would not have to input any of that manually at all. Okay. So it is very efficient, very accurate. Uh, how does that? What does that use? mean? Easy Labor Management. So. I'm reading it here, yeah. the web time sheet badge. Yeah, so you have different options. You can either have a web time sheet, a badge card time clock, or a biometric time clock. Most people will do the badge card. You don't need to necessarily get the biometric time clock. Um, I think, especially for your 10 employees, I think that'd be great. Okay. So I'll go over that a little bit later. Um, also, I know you mentioned compliance was an issue. Mm. So if you'd like to um, learn a little, bit more, a little bit more about that, we do have a human resources section. We have an HR checkup. And I know you said you're currently, um, you have possibly done background checks. There is the option to keep doing that, and it comes with our system. So that's not anything you would have to pay extra for at all. So if you would like to do those background checks, it is available for you. Okay. And also, um, ADP with compliance, I know you said that it's, it's stressful for you, but at ADP, as long as you input um, accurate and timely input, we guarantee accurate and timely output. So none of the, the stress of IRS or anything like that will fall on your shoulders. ADP takes over that. Okay. Does that address your concern? Uh, yeah. I, okay. I guess it wasn't really... Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So now looking back at the fee schedule, mm. um, I know you said that we are right here at the 2895 rating and you're currently performing payroll weekly. Is that something you would like to continue doing or do you have any interest in switching the frequency? Um, yeah, I mean... I, I'd probably keep it weekly only because I honestly, you know, don't know, um, you know, how long we'd be able to keep up with it. So. Okay. I'll go ahead and assume that that's what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. So how does that 1500 a week, or 15, excuse me, 1500 a year look? High. High. It looks very high. And I completely understand that. Most of my uh, customers say the exact same thing. And so, uh, however, given the turnover rate that you're experiencing right now and all the stress that's on your shoulders, the turnover, we're assuming, is at least about 2500 per employee. Assume three employees have left. That's 7500 just in the past six months that you've spent on turnover. Now, if you had a system that enabled you to not have to spend that anymore, I think that'd be something that's great, and that's something that we definitely need to look at. Um, so you're looking at an estimated annual opportunity gain of $6,000, estimated net gain. How does that look? That'd be great. That'd probably pay off one of my maxed out credit cards. <laughs> well, that is great. And I know you said you're the ultimate decision maker today. And on top of this $6,000 estimated net value gain, just having the stress relieved off of you of doing the payroll, don't you think this is something that we should get started with today? Um, yeah, I mean, I just, uh, I, I don't know that we necessarily can, can afford something like this, given okay. the fact that, you know, like I said, we're maxed out on two of the three credit cards. Mm -hmm. I don't know how long I'm going to be able to pay the $30 every, every okay. week. Okay. Well, I would love to come in the next time you perform, perform payroll and be there uh, to help you implement this system. It is only, uh, you pay by the time you, or by each time you perform the payroll, so it's not a There's firm no contract. contract. It's okay. not a firm contract at all. So if you'd like to get started today and just see how it works, I would love to help you through that process. All right, we'll give it a shot. Okay, that sounds great. I have this signature, this form for you to go ahead and fill out just so to ensure that I'll be here next week when you do payroll. I really appreciate your time today, Mr. Knoll, and thank you for, for sharing with me and visiting with me, and I look forward to seeing you next week to Im implement ADP around mobile. Okay, thank, thank you. Thank you again. How much time do you have? <laughs> We're at 926. Oh, or 1926. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. No, it's okay. No, it's okay. That was funny. I've never had to have anyone like that before. Oh, no? Yeah. No, so it's it a great experience for me to deal with that.
that's it happens a lot yeah it, it does it does you just got to get you know it's nothing personal yeah. a lot of people won't remember that they set up appointments or they'll have other people yeah. set the appointment up for them people are checking phones checking yeah. emails it's like you're talking to kind of a window and you know but you did a good job you thank, did you. A good job. thank you thank you I just try to keep smiling, <laughs> make myself feel happy, even if they don't look happy. <laughs> well, good luck, Valerie. Thank you. It's great to meet you. Do you okay. need this pen? No, I you're gonna have. I, it's I a take cheap. it from.